decades now, the public has called for increased access to Hunter Valley Station, the only gateway to Hawea Conservation Park. That's intensified re recently as the Walking Access Commission and the Department of Conservation are seeking an easement on a 40 kilometre road that winds through the property at the head of Lake Hawea. The commission says people are being denied access. But a lawyer for disgraced American multimillionaire Matt Lauer, who leases the property, says that's hardly the case. So who's telling the truth here? Can New Zealanders utilise the High Country Farms tracks or not? Tess's colleague, our other Otago Southland reporter, Timothy Brown, tried to get to the bottom of all of this. We have done official information requests of the Walking Access Commission, Department of Conservation, Land Information New Zealand, the Commissioner of Crown Lands, and we can't find one person who has raised any concerns that public access has been denied. That's Matt Lauer's lawyer, Queenstown-based principal of Todd and Walker Law, Graham Todd. He says the stoush is a storm in a teacup, with Mr Lauer and his tenants not only complying with all the conditions of the Overseas Investment Officer's obligations, but improving access compared to past leasees. So why then would Federated Mountain Club's president, Peter Wilson, hold this view? This is the last major South Island high country valley that doesn't have public access. Most of the time, with most of these big valleys in the South Island high country, there isn't a problem with access. Farmers are reasonable or there's public access available. In this case, we have a really extremely unreasonable foreign landowner, and that's why the government has to intervene. To understand the two divergent views, it's important to know the history. Hunter Valley Station is a 6,500 hectare property in the Queenstown Lakes District. A 40-kilometre track running through its heart links public roads to the Hawea Conservation Park. Its dirt is owned by the government, but since March 2017, it's been leased by the former co-host of NBC's Today Show, Matt Lauer, whose employment was terminated following accusations of sexual harassment. Now the Walking Access Commission and the Department of Conservation are seeking an easement through the property from the Commissioner of Crown Lands to open up the conservation estate to the public. But Graham Todd says that's unnecessary. Any access has got to work in with the farming operations, and that's what's happened. We have maintained logs. We're not required to, but we've maintained full logs of every person who's requested access, every person who's been granted access, and those few that were declined. And can you say approximately how many have, have been turned away because of those farming activities? I think if my recollection of the logs, reading the logs is correct, there was about three or four. Three or four out of more than 100, he claims. But Walking Access Commission Chief Executive Eric Pyle says that's not the story he's heard. The access at the moment is not that easy. Uh, we have heard that people have been turned away. We'd love to see the data, um, and it's good, good to know that it exists. We are aware that there have been signs there, and they've now been taken down, um, that said, no, there was no public access. If an easement is to be granted, it will mean compensation. Graham Todd strongly believes there won't be any need, as they oppose the measure. But if an easement is granted, then compensation could run into the millions. But Mr Pyle also has a message for Mr Lauer on that front. I'd like to say to Matt Lauer, become a, a great Kiwi, adopt the culture and um, allow access in a very, very managed way um, and let's not go through this compensation process. He points to the properties of Robert Mutt Lang as an example of what is possible when foreign investors are good custodians of New Zealand's outdoors. The South African music producer owns conservation land near Queenstown and was last year made a walking access champion for opening up public access between Glendu Bay and Arrowtown. The acting Prime Minister, Winston Peters, also weighed into the debate today, saying the National Party needs to provide answers about how Matt Lauer was able to lease the land. It's a further complication of what we've inherited. It doesn't stop, but this is a classic example. And uh, having looked at what information is available at this point in time, including the latest news reports and other correspondence, I can't give you a, a conclusion as to where things go from here because it's not within our purview or our control. I do not envisage selling this country out like the last government did. It is a decades-long dispute, now with the added layer of an American millionaire as one of its players. How it ends is anyone's guess, but what is known is the solution will be anything but simple. For Checkpoint, Timothy Brown.